Demo 7 is part 2 of formulas and functions. First let's do a little review of some math. What does it mean to find a percentage of? What does percentage of mean? Well percentage of means your amount divided by the total possible amount. So in this case we're going to look at what percentage does each one of these students have for their grade based upon the total possible points. So in G13 here we need a total of all of the possible points. Well that's the same thing as this right here adding up across but we'll just do it with as a review here do it with the auto sum, auto sum right there. It's selected the five cells that I want to add up. I hit the enter key and I get my answer. 195 points is the total possible points. I'll even put a border underneath that as well just by clicking on the border icon underneath. So in this column, in the H column now, in the H column we want to put percent. So I'll just type the word percent. Notice it slants automatically there for us. And I'm looking at H6. H6 would be this amount, that's the total that Betty got, divided by this amount. It's going to give me a decimal answer, which we will change into a percent in just a moment. So, you always start a function or an equation with an equal sign, and in this case I'm only using two cells. There isn't a percentage of button anywhere, so I've got to do this physically. So I take the first cell, G6, and I can either type in G6 or I can click on G6 and notice it automatically shows up. Divided by is the slash to the right and divided by G13. There would give me the answer I want. Hit the enter key and there's the answer. It's going to end up being approximately 87 percent. So once again I could do exactly the same thing for each of these. There's only six people in the class so it would be pretty easy but again if there was 30, 40, 50 rows I want to do it the easy way. Let's do the pull handle and here we go. Drag it down and release. We have an error. Um, what went wrong? Two things are telling us there's an error. First what's showing up in the cell definitely doesn't look like what I'm after. Also this little green triangle up in the corner tells me that there's something seriously wrong with this and they tell me what that means. I'm dividing by zero. Well, wait a second. I thought I was dividing by 195. Let's look at this. In this cell it's G6 divided by G13. In this cell it's G7 divided by G14. There's nothing in G14. G15, 16, 17, and 18. What happened? Remember what I said in the last demo? When you copy a cell, the cell references increase in reference to the move that you make. You go down one, they go up one. So down, they get bigger. So the, the 6 becomes a 7, the 13 becomes a 14. So how do we correct that? Well the best way, and really the easiest way, is to do what is referred to as absolute cell referencing. And you'll see this in your assignments as well. Absolute cell referencing. These n cells that we have are referred to as relative cell references. So how do we create an absolute 
cell reference. Back up here in H6, I'm going to my equation up here in the formula bar. I'm going to click on the G13. That's the cell I want to fix or make absolute so that when I copy, it doesn't change. That's what it means to be an absolute cell reference. When you copy it, that specific cell doesn't change. I want the G6 to change to G7, 8, 9, 10, and so on. But the G13 needs to stay G13. And the quick way to make G13 an absolute cell reference is to put the cursor on G13 like I have it right now and hit the F4 key, your function key, F4. And you'll notice dollar signs appear. The dollar signs indicate this cell is absolute so that when we copy it, the G13 won't change. Watch what happens. Hit my Enter key, get the same answer I'd expect to. Now when I drag down, I get answers. That's because the G13 didn't change on my copying all the way down that column. So that's a very, very important part of working with equations and particularly when one cell is being used in multiple equations that you might want to consider absolute cell referencing. So let's change these all to percents. See what happens when I hit the percent. Notice this quick percent style right up here and it changes its percents quite nicely. Let's add one decimal place to that and we increase everybody to just see what the one extra decimal place is. So we've looked at percentage of. Now what does it mean to have a percentage increase? A percentage increase or decrease basically means this. When I increase something by a percentage it's what I have plus the percent of what I have that I'm looking after. So let's say, I, say I'm being feeling very generous and I want to increase everybody's percent 10 percent. So I want to increase it 10 percent. So up here in I4 I'm going to put 10 percent. Now you can type 10 percent. Excel recognizes what 10 percent is. It knows it's 0.1. So I hit the Enter key and it stays 10%, but when I use it in an equation, it's going to think of it as 0.1. So here we're going to type in um, increase, and now I'm going to do the equation to increase each of their scores by this 10%. Again, notice I'm using a single cell for all of these. Absolute cell reference is going to be what I'm going to need. So equal the amount I have, and in this case, plus the amount I have times the 10%. And then I immediately hit my F4 to put some dollar signs in there to make it absolute. So now when I copy this down, it's going to go from H6 to H7, but that I4 will stay the same. Now. A little bit of math here as far as the sequence of things. Does it do the adding before it does the multiplying? No. Multiplying and division come before adding and subtracting. So in this equation it's going to multiply the H6 and the I4 and then add that back onto the H6. Hit the Enter key. Whoa! Look at that percent. Um, we've got to do a little bit of changing of that. So a lot of decreasing of decimal points there. Changing the column width, remember click and drag. Take my handle now, pull it on down, and 
and we have our 10% increases on all of our student scores just to see what it would look like. Now, I don't particularly like the fact that 10% is going to jump Fred way over, but that's the way it is. Notice what happens though. I can go up here. This is what makes the spreadsheet a business tool. I can say, okay, maybe 10% was a little too generous. Let's say 4%. I want to change it to 4%. Watch what happens to the increased scores. It automatically changed all of those scores because it was using I4. And so whatever I4 is, it automatically recalculates. So there is an example of using absolute cell references and how to do percentage of and percentage increase or decrease.